pump tracks. What are they? Why should you care about them? So first off, what is a pump track? It's basically a series of turns, rollers, uh, sometimes jumps, could be dirt, tar, and generally you'd ride it on a BMX or a jump bike like I've got here. And the whole concept behind it is that you don't pedal. So you use the, the rollers and the turns to generate momentum to keep you rolling forward and, and try to get you going faster and faster. I think that's one of the first places that people can start to improve their skills. And from everything, from keeping flow on the track, pumping, jumping, turning, manually, little tricks and skills I mean possibilities are endless and it directly correlates to when you're on the hill on your bike uh, whether that's downhill enduro cross-country it's one of the best places to start and I would like to take you guys through three skills which you can actually apply on the trail and improve your riding the three obvious ones jumping cornering and pumping let's start out with the basic one pumping basically it's on the premise of a bunny hop basically a bunny hop is where you pull back on the bars and then push your body weight forward and unweight your feet at the right moments and that's going to pick the bike off the ground and basically that is a similar thing that you're doing on the pump track um, you're just doing it over a bump so when you're coming up to the bump you want to basically pull back on the bars a bit almost like you're going to do like lift the front wheel off the ground it's basically unweighting the front wheel and then as you get to the top of the bump you want to shift your weight completely forward push onto the front wheel so that goes into the back side of the bump and unweight your feet, which is gonna bring, basically almost lift the back wheel over the bump. The wheel can be on the ground, but it's gonna be very light, if that makes sense. And as you get onto the back side, you're pushing down as hard as you can with your arms first and then your legs, once it goes over that crest of the top of the, of the, top of the bump. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you momentum down the back side of the roller. And then you do this repetitively over every single bump and you keep doing it all the way down the track. And not just on the bumps, but also in the turns. And it's a similar thing that you're doing throughout everything. So the next skill we've got is cornering. It's gonna be bermed cornering that it's gonna help you mostly with. If it's a good pump track, it's gonna have steep berms and you're gonna maintain a lot of speed. From a technique point of view, uh, keeping your head up, um, looking where you wanna go, what you can do is learn to carry speed through and out of turns. You wanna come in relatively high and come out a little bit lower. You don't want to come in low and go out high. That's going to be the wrong way to go about it. So come in a little bit higher and try to come out not as high as you went in. Look where you're going. Obviously don't break. Come in with your legs relatively bent so that you're going to kind of let yourself go into the corner. And then as you get to the apex of the corner, you want to really push, push your weight down into the pedals, which is going to generate speed going out. So much like a roller, where you're pushing down on the backside of the roller to generate speed. Now you're pushing in the apex of the turn, which is gonna have the same effect. And that's gonna really pop you out of the turn and get you into that next section as fast as possible. Which for me, I have fun when I'm going fast. <laughs> um, this is gonna translate directly to mountain biking. The majority of your speed is gonna be made up through the turns. So last but not least, jumping. It depends on which pump tracks you're going to be at. This one behind me has actually got two sort of step-up tables built in as well. Coming right into the actual technique of hitting a jump, I mean, again, this is so dependent on which jump you're hitting, what the conditions are, etc. But as a general rule, you want to come in as relaxed as you can. Basically, it's again like a bunny hop. So it's the same premise. You're coming in, you're weighting your, your bike and your feet as you're going in, and then you're pulling up as you get to the top of the first roller, you're pulling up with your hands and then following with your legs and shifting that weight forward like a boat rocking motion. And as you're doing that at the right speed, the bike is gonna lift. Um, and it's, it's exactly like a bunny hop. Um, and obviously this takes practice and you're gonna have to try a few times, but the nice thing about a pump track is that rollers aren't, aren't built in such a way that if you come up short, you're generally gonna be fine. So you can try it and you know if you come up short it's no big deal. So you can try it and try it and try it and slowly but surely you'll perfect that that technique. Going onto the track, onto the mountain bike track, it's gonna help you for a lot of different things. There are often rollers and jumps and maybe natural natural rises, rocks, roots, things that maybe there's consecutive ones in a row that you could gap, could jump. Uh, and make your ride smoother, make it more fun, make it safer sometimes if you want to miss a section um, that, that you could jump. But if you don't have that technique to actually pop 
um, a section which is not built as a jump, then yeah, you're not gonna be able to do it. So this is a perfect place to, to practice that and hone that skill. And um, you know, you can do it over and over and over again. Um, moving to the actual jumps, here they've got some tables, not big, again, built very safely, not super steep. So you can actually practice regular jumps as well and uh, you know, focus on that side of it as well. You're gonna have to use a little bit of that technique as well to pop and jump um, yourself. So a bit of a bunny hop technique off the takeoff because if you just ride off, it's not gonna be enough lift to actually clear the jump, which is a great thing as well. If you've got jumps on the track, there will often be jumps in a bike park um, or on a downhill track, cross country track, whatever it may be, that aren't built really well, so to speak, or not, maybe the lip's not steep enough that you that you need to give a little bit of pop to get over it yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna make your life a lot easier and a lot safer, hopefully, out on the trail.